right? Remember, beginning, the way tobacco was marketed, you had, you had ships come over, generally uh, in, in the fall, right, that time of year. They'd make their way up the various rivers and creeks to the wars of planters. They'd have a, a cache of goods to sell. And they would ask a guy, you know, what do you want? And they would basically exchange their goods for, for tobacco at a determined price, more or less, you know, dependent upon the size of the crop and so on. What begins to happen as early as the 1640s and 1650s is some of the larger planters in the Chesapeake begin trading on their own account. There's always a price spread between the price of tobacco in the Chesapeake colonies and the price it commands on the wholesale market in London. And so instead of just accepting the price that this random ship captain might have to offer me, I'm instead going to send the tobacco over to England on my own account, and I'm going to pay a commission to someone to market it there for me. Right? This developing consignment trade ties the larger planters of Virginia and Maryland to these English merchants, most of them in London. 